Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to test torque. We got brushless Milwaukee M18 Senex 4 stroke 49cc and the brand new Echo 4310SX. This one's not even available in the states yet. But two stroke brushless or four stroke. Going to see what kind of torque we can get out of these. Alrighty, let's get these filled up. Now this one, just like the trusty old lawn tractor, got to check the oil, since it's brand new, got to put this oil in it, it says 100 ml, 4 cycle oil, this is what this bottle is, now we can add bar oil. These pretty cool flippy caps on these Euro Echoes. Be nice if we could get those over here in the States. Like that. Top this one off. All right, this is a. 5.0 battery. I do believe they have up to 12. But fully charged. Milwaukee's easy to fuel up. Get some fuel in this Echo. Alrighty, here's the Milwaukee with the smaller battery. Well, I guess that's their medium battery. Full of oil. 11 pounds, 4.8 ounce. There's the metric. Echo 4310SX, full of fuel and oil. 10 pounds, 13.2 ounce. There's the metric. It's a four stroke, Senex, 49 cc's. 13 pounds, 2.9 ounce. There's the metric. That's full of fuel and oil. Crankcase, bar oiler, and gasoline. Alrighty, here they are. The Senex 4-stroke 49cc. Milwaukee Brushless. And the brand new Echo 4310SX. Can't get these here in the States yet. 43cc Echo. Milwaukee claims this is the equivalent to a 40cc saw, gasoline saw. And we got this Senex. This is a 4-stroke. So we're going to see what kind of torque and power these three will put out. But first we're going to make sure they run. All right, let's get these fired up. Pull the cover off. Let's see. This one has me intrigued.
the oil's good. All right. Well, we'll get these strapped on the dyno. And see just how much power they make. Here's the results. These pink lines, the Echo 4310. Blue lines, the Senex four stroke. And these red lines, that's the Milwaukee Electric. This is actually the Milwaukee Torque, which that just goes to show that the electric has the torque advantage. Direct drive, but it doesn't spin enough RPM to really convert that torque into horsepower. Kind of like an old diesel or an electric motor. So just over three foot pounds of torque right before the motor cut off. And only just over 1.8 horse. Honestly, this little four stroke kind of surprised me. About 2.5 horse. And just at just under 2.1 foot pounds max. Then your typical two stroke type graph. Spins a lot more RPM, right at three horse, and about 1.9 foot-pounds. But it spins the RPM, so it doesn't need the torque to make the horsepower. That's how it works. Torque times RPM divided by 52, 52. Get your horsepower in this equation. Since they're so far spread apart, I couldn't put the numbers in the box. But, so we got three horse for the Echo. 1.9 foot-pounds, two and a half horse for the Senex, just under 2.1 foot-pounds, and we got 1.8 horsepower and three foot-pounds for the electric. See, we spun to about 8,800 for the four-stroke, 5,700 for the electric, and about 11.8 for the Echo. So. Well, that proves the electric's got the torque, then the four-stroke, then the two-stroke. Now, I won't be doing much else with the electric, but we'll be digging into the two-stroke, and we'll see what we can do with this four-stroke. Honestly, that two-and-a-half horse isn't all that bad. I want to say the Predator 212 from Harbor Freight, 212 cc, is only six-and-a-half horse, seven horse. So two and a half from 50 cc, that's really not doing too bad for a little four stroke. It just doesn't quite run out like the two strokes that everybody's used to. But we'll see if we can change that. Let me know what you guys think. Every one of these has a place. Might be in the garbage and it might be up in a tree. So what ones do you guys prefer? All right. Thanks a lot, everyone.